How's everybody doing today? This is Andy with Andy's Auto Detailing and Ceramic Coatings. Today we're going to touch base on a product that you guys probably, hopefully, know by now. Uh, we are talking about the For Real right here. It's a pet hair removal tool. Uh, the reason I want to talk about it today, uh, as I've already done in the past, is they have redesigned this once again. I believe it's probably volume three or something like that. So there you go, right there for real. Um, so as you can see, this is a very well used one. This is typically what they look like after a handful of cars. Um, I would say five to 10 cars is what you can typically get out of one of these. Um, but they have redesigned these and actually made them better. Um, let me show you what their new one looks like. This is their new design. You can see right off the bat, way more burly, uh, way more, it's thicker rubber. They, I guess, used a different like compound of rubber to where it's actually gonna last and deteriorate less because from what I have been told, and this is from the owner and the designer, um, is that most people uh, improperly use this. Um, now I'm gonna show you a proper way to use it to make, to get the longest life out of this. If you can tell, I mean, I wish I had one of these still, but these are actually even longer. And you can see it's actually got two phases of, uh, of levels there. Um, so I'm really excited to start using this one because we use this thing a lot, as you can tell. Uh, we have several of these in our interior carts for mobile and for in the shop. So if you are buying these, I would highly suggest having some for, uh, have backups, basically, because you don't want to lose these and then need it. Um, there's a couple different ways you can use it. You can use it with this guy right here which is a, the adapter for some vacuums, which is super awesome because their new design still fits on there. So that makes it nice and easy. Here's their old one, fits on there. So they made it really easy, simple to upgrade to these newer ones where you don't have to buy a new one of these. Um, I will link all these products down below um, in some Amazon links, make it super easy for you guys to purchase. Uh, now, without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this um, the most proper way I personally know. Um, now one thing I like to do is when you have pretty heavy saturated pet hair, this vehicle has got a lot of it. It's everywhere. It's gross. Um, it's down below there. You can kind of see, but what I like to do is mist it with a little bit of paint gloss. Now you might be wondering why it's to, it's an anti-static, uh, because it'll actually help release the pet hair. So hopefully you guys are catching this tip and hopefully you guys have stuck around long enough to know this tip. Um, another thing you can use is you can use glass cleaner because that's an anti-static. So just, just a quick little mist and that's exactly what we're going to do. Just like that, we're going to just mist it in here. That's it. Okay. Now I let it sit for just a little small amount of time, not very long. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and vacuum and I'm going to show you guys. Uh, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud since I have a microphone on um, with me running the vacuum. I'm really hoping. So we'll see. So if it does, I apologize. This is definitely some ground in pet air right here. Trying to do this with still letting you guys see what I'm doing is a little difficult. All right, so I don't know if you noticed how I was doing that. Um, I would be doing this obviously a lot faster. I mean, I'd be going over it like crazy. 
Um, I'm just trying to not get in the camera view. Hopefully I didn't too much. Um, but you can see it got a lot of it just with what I did. Um, minimal effort from what I just did. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I'm going one direction, lifting. One direction, lifting. Um, I know it sounds tedious, but when you got seats like this and hair is really embedded in this stuff, it's just an absolute nightmare to get out. Um, one thing I do like to do with pet hair um, is I like to hit it first with a drill brush. And then what I do is I go over it with this pet hair brush. So I go over it typically with something like this and try to knock down as much of it I can, as I can. And then I start using my for real. That's my process. Um, it works fantastic. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you down here at the bottom. Let me adjust the camera real quick and we'll come right back. All right. So now we're, we're down in here. I've already missed it. Now I'm going to show you the full process of how I do this. Let me get the vacuum turned on. That might help. Actually, I'm going to take this off, get the light stuff. So there we go. You saw the full process. That's basically what I do on the whole vehicle. And you can see that eliminates a good, just with that, how quick I did that. I mean, I'm at like 90 plus percent right there in this area right here. And then I just go in with my cleaners and get it clean. So hopefully you guys got something out of this video. I really hope so. I'm just here to spread the news, just here to try to help some people out. If you are looking for a really good pet hair remover, this is a must have. Um, obviously there's lots of, lots of pet hair removers on the market, but this is definitely a must have. I always have some of these in my arsenal, like I said, so I'm not getting paid for this or anything like that. So go down in the description, buy yours through my links. If you don't mind, that is the only way I'm going to get paid for any of this. So very small commission from Amazon. So anyway, hopefully you guys got something out of it and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Appreciate you all.